Hello guys and welcome. Nowadays, the majority of sport players cannot connect to the Sportpedia or to the sport servers within their sport game, and therefore the experience in sport is sort of watered down. A major outcome of this, or a major side effect, is that if you're trying to play Galactic Adventures and you wish to play a custom adventure made by another player, as I will demonstrate here, let's just attempt to play this random adventure here, the game will prompt you to log in, and if you already cannot register your account, or you cannot connect to the servers, this of course means you're only limited to Max's adventures. It cannot download the assets and the creations of other adventures. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and describe a workaround solution that will allow you to play custom adventures by other players. For the purpose of this video, this will be very short, sweet and quick, but if you want to get to deep information, I can direct you guys into the right direction. And of course, I'll be demonstrating this without any mods whatsoever. All we'll need for this is one single third party extension. Now first things first, we're going to go ahead and go to the Sportpedia 2 website. Now the Sportpedia 2 community is of course a Spanish website, and if you're like me and you can't really understand Spanish, I would recommend opening up the window in Google Chrome, that way you can right click on a page and translate to English or your desired language. Now, like I said, this guide is going to be very quick and short, but now that the web page is in a language that you can understand, you, can, you guys can take your time and read the entire contents, all the information associated with it, I will be linking this web page into the description down below. But now that we can see what's what and what we need to do, I'm going to go ahead and download the file extension here from Dropbox. And then I'm going to open up a new tab, and type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions. And with my downloaded extension, I'm going to go ahead and find that in my folder and drag that in. And then add extension. Now, this is an issue that I personally have come across and I'm only a novice when it comes to these kind of things. Therefore, I'll be providing an alternative solution in a moment. But for those of you who might be you know, better off with this, you'll know how to fix it. But in short, as it states here, this extension here is not listed in your Chrome Web Store and may have been added without your knowledge. Now, what this means is that Google is automatically blocking this extension from you know actually working being able to turn on in developer mode i can go ahead and go into details and activate it in, in incognito mode that for me is a bit of a pain but like i said we're going to be offering different solutions here so you guys can do what you think is best so like i stated uh, for chrome that's a bit of a pain i do believe the same occurs for firefox as well so this will also be blocked in firefox because it is in the end not a licensed extension but what i have been told is that the browser opera will actually download this fine so in case you want to have an excuse for a fourth browser, here you go, here's Opera. On the left side here in the grey tab or the black tab, you want to go ahead and right click and you want to enable extensions, that way it shows the button there. I go into extensions, I grab your download once again and drag it in. And now it'll actually allow you to use it, so we'll go ahead and install this. And that is quite honestly it. So now that the Sportpedia download extension is now working, I go ahead, go to sport.com. I go to the Sportpedia, and we're just going to go ahead and just check out any random adventure. Let's go to Browse. Let's go to Adventures here. I don't know, page four, whatever. Not really choosing anything particular. And we're going to go ahead and click on this fancy one here. As you can see at the top right here, there is now a new icon called Sportpedia Downloader. And it is honestly this simple. Click on that, and it's downloaded all the contents for you. Just like that. So not only the adventure itself, but all the contents too. You can find this folder in your actual downloads folder. It will make it automatically for you and everything will be placed inside there. As another quick little demonstration, another random adventure, we go ahead and download it once again. Looks like it's got quite a few to download this time. <laughs> and there you go. Look at all of that. So let's go ahead and check in. What's adventure called? Life as a Scrap Pirate. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and I'm going to drag it into, into my Spore game. It may appear to freeze for a moment because it's possibly downloading a whole lot of content and that's returned back to normal. I'm going to Galactic Adventures. I'm going to go play a game. We're going to go play, what's it called? Life as a Scrap Pirate. And there you go. Just like that, we can now play this adventure despite never actually being online. And that is truly it, guys. Once again, massive amount of credit to the Sportpedia 2 community. You guys have some really incredible tools. And I, again, I hope you don't mind me making this tutorial. Thank you very much for what you've done. And to all of you, I hope this has helped you. And thank you for watching. Have fun.